My name is Ashna Mathema. I'm a Senior Urban Development Specialist at the World Bank. Uh, I'm here at the Understanding Risk Conference in Belgrade, uh, joined today by Radu Vakarano. He's a professor at the University of Civil Engineering in Bucharest, and I'd be particularly interested to get uh, your views on the situation in ECA and also possibly more specifically in Romania. Basically, we are sharing the same kind of problems here in Europe and Central Asia because of a historical context related to, let's say, the building techniques and uh, the pace of development after World War II. There are some specific problems uh, for, uh, let's say, Romania, Bulgaria, Georgia, and uh, whatever you consider in Europe and Central Asia. We have a very vulnerable old building stock built with no seismic regulations in all the countries, you know, Europe and Central Asia. And then we used to have, and we still have, code compliant building stock, I mean residential building stock. But uh, as I mentioned before, code compliant doesn't mean safe buildings, okay? Because the codes are evolving, even in this part of the world, it's an ever increasing level of seismic safety that is uh, compulsory because of these codes. And uh, if I come, if I size down the issue to the problem of, of Romania for the residential buildings, um, we have, let's say, a, a peculiarity there in Romania because we have Rancho Intermediate Depths, seismic source. Uh, the earthquakes are generating at several 100, 150 kilometers. So this means that the area affected by the earthquake is very large. Bucharest, what, that is the most vulnerable city in Romania, because of the size and because of the building stock, is very close to, to uh, Vrancha. You could talk a little bit about uh, seismic risk in the housing stock in Eka country. It's about reinforced concrete, high-rise buildings, built in 1920s, 1930s, and these buildings to be very vulnerable to ground motion generated by Vrancha seismic source. 